Ultra-Orthodox Jews who choose to serve in Israel's military are coming under fire from their own community. Known as Haredim, they've avoided military service for decades in Israel thanks to a 65-year-old system of automatic draft exemptions. But last week, Israel's cabinet voted to gradually end the exemptions, stoking anger in the community. Cabinet Minister Yaakov Perry, the man who led the change, says the legislation is historic. The secular one and the orthodox one to reach a um, kind of uh, balance in which uh, everybody will serve. The legislation has sparked protests in Jerusalem. Israeli citizens are required to register for military service when they turn 18. Jewish seminary students are exempt from the draft with many choosing to pursue religious studies. In the religious neighborhood of Mea Sharim, a large cartoon depicts Haredi soldiers trying to lure young boys into military tanks. Israeli security forces were called to the scene when a group of ultra-Orthodox men attacked a member of their own community who was in uniform. Rabbis in the community strongly oppose the plan, saying military service will undermine their way of life. By jail or by rules, these type of rules, they're not going to change our style of life. People that are not studying went to the army, but the atmosphere that's happening now is going to stop even people that are not studying from going to the army because in a battle, everybody loses. Many say the battle over the draft law is only part of a wider cultural war. Many Israelis believe the draft exemptions, along with high unemployment and poverty in the religious community, are unsustainable and more changes are needed. Jeannie Ohm, Associated Press.